Okay, I'm going to demonstrate very quickly um, a tool that's in process. This is um, an implementation of the work that PCC is doing on um, ISPD normalization. Uh, there is a um, spreadsheet that they've been working on to, to note where um, punctuation should be changed and where it shouldn't be. And so uh, I started working on a uh, quick test implementation so that folks could get an opportunity to uh, follow along, make changes, um, also so the uh, folks in the PCC group can make changes to their implementation and see uh, what the impacts would be. Um, so basically here's a test file um, process uh, as it's implemented in Mark Edit 7. Uh, right now, it's since it's experimental, it shows up just in the edit shortcuts. So eventually, if something like this was to come out, there would be a, it would be added to um, uh, the task list and whatnot. So um, it's inside a field edits, clean ISPD punctuation, and the first thing it asks is if you'd like to update the the list. So the change list, I'll say yes. It's basically in a text file. Um, right now. Um, they're all regular expressions. Uh, to be honest, these probably aren't the most efficient way to go about doing this, uh, especially since a number of the punctuation changes tend to be, um, uh, tend to just be removing trailing punctuation. I think that there's probably more efficient ways to handle that. But for now, since this is the way that the, um, the PCC is representing the changes in their change list, uh, I went ahead and just use these for easy, um, easy compatibility between testing. Uh, although I did make some changes to them and I probably would um, continue to make a few updates partly because um, some of the expressions uh, uh, could be made more efficient. So uh, I can make changes, add stuff to it. You'll see that um, these are by fields. The way that the tool works is it's uh, creating an internal structure that captures ISBD. Um, punctuation criteria. Uh, the outside element is the um, the field to be processed. It creates an array of those and processes every um, value there against the, the field. If you want to do um, field groups, so like here it's equal five, so everything in the 5xx fields, everything in the 2xx fields, 3xx fields are processed. Um, so you can make your changes, and when your changes are made, it goes ahead and after you save it, it runs the process. Here we've it's processed and it's removed 300, approximately 386 characters. Uh, that's a, a roughish estimate because it's hard to know exactly, it's hard to count them all since you're doing your placements, but you can quickly see that here, uh, based on the expression, it's removed um, the, uh, the parentheses, which have been asked to be removed. Um, if you look at the 245, you'll see um, values that have been moved, including this one, which was an interesting choice. I, I'm not quite sure why um, uh, some of these values have switched, uh, pulling like the equal sign out. Um, you also see that uh, in the 300 fields, periods have been removed, 500 fields, periods have been removed from the end. So, so you can see kind of um, an implementation here. Um, I need to take a look and see if uh, Overall, um, all of the changes are being represented appropriately. I know sometimes in the in the list they've um, talked about changes being recursive to zero, and sometimes not. So I need to get a better idea of what um, the PCC is thinking about there in terms of examples. But if you're interested in following along, or um, uh, if you're part of the group and want to see how changes can be implemented across test records. Um, hopefully this will make uh, that process a little bit easier uh, for you to follow.